up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to this channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2024 toyota tundra courtesy of younger toyota in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below so we are in this one today because there are a couple nice changes for the 2024 tundra this thing is an absolute beast as well so ultimately this video will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there are several different configurations for the 2024 tundra limited essentially pricing will start at fifty one thousand eight hundred and fifty five dollars for the four by two double cab six and a half foot bed and then it can go up to fifty four thousand two hundred and thirty five dollars for the four by two crew max six and a half foot bed however that was all pricing for the four by two like i said if you wanted to add the four by four configuration simply add three thousand dollars to any of those prices on the screen there but regardless of the configuration that you go with the power plant is going to be the same powering the beast is a 3.4 liter twin turbo v6 putting out 389 horsepower at 5200 rpm 479 pound feet of torque coming in at 2400 rpm power sent to the rear wheels or all wheels through a 10 speed automatic zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 5.7 seconds that's impressive right there mpg numbers coming in at 18 in the city 23 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 17 city 22 then on the highway for the four wheel drive taking regular unleaded fuel that would always surprise me with a twin turbo v6 like this thing has but anyways before we do any kind of fun acceleration here in the tundra i did want to mention to you guys the drive modes there's a circular dial located directly behind the shifter drive modes will include eco normal sport tow and haul as well adjusting things like the shift points and the throttle response so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the tundra here to the test and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2024 tundra here up to speed all right here is our straightaway in three two one go <laughs> they're spinning what the heck oh man <laughs> yeah there's nothing wrong with that that is a heck of an acceleration for a full-size pickup truck that is for sure oh man that was kind of fun the other thing is with this uh, twin turbo v6 a lot of people may be thinking well how's the reliability it's a twin turbo v6 and uh i did a little bit of uh digging into that one and actually spoke with someone at a lexus dealership recently as well about this particular engine because it has actually been around for a little while so before lexus even dropped it in their new ls they actually tested this particular engine for six years prior to that toyota slash lexus so they now have it in the lexus ls they're putting it in the new gx as well i think there's one other vehicle that they have it in they have it in the tundra here so it has been tested and according to the lexus salesperson that i spoke with a couple days ago i was asking them about this particular engine they actually said it's been rock solid they haven't really had anybody come in for any issues with it either so that's pretty good to hear uh, in case anybody was wondering about the reliability but as far as acceleration goes it's a heck of an acceleration but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important so up front you will find 13.9 inch ventilated front discs in the back 13.6 inch ventilated rear discs as far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes that comes in at 131 feet so it is a little bit on the higher side of things but having said that i've seen trucks with worse than that even the 140s so honestly 131 that's plenty fine for what this vehicle is. I've seen three row SUVs come in worse than that. So absolutely no issues there. Then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get an independent double wishbone type front suspension. In the back, coil spring multi-link rear suspension. There is a rear air suspension available for $650 if you wanted to go that route. There is also though an off-road suspension with Bilstein shocks that comes with the TRD off-road package. By the way, that package goes for roughly a little over $3,000, but that's obviously gonna give you the best off road setup as far as ride quality goes in our short little test drive here today at least it's been perfectly fine it's been perfectly fine these roads are pretty smooth though but honestly for a truck i haven't had any, i haven't had any issues there as far as steering feel goes it's honestly just right it's not a super heavy weight to it but it's not a loosey goosey steering feel that you typically find in suvs either it feels just right for what the truck is as far as cabin noise goes 
you guys can tell right now I'm going 33 miles per hour. There isn't a whole lot of exterior wind or road noise really coming into the cabin whatsoever. And uh, I did want to also mention there's an acoustic laminated front windshield that comes standard on the limited trim. So that could be contributing to that a little bit, detonating some of the uh, exterior wind noise. So definitely don't mind that. And then as far as visibility goes, I honestly can see perfectly fine out the back. So you're 100% not going to have any issues with that either. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2024 Toyota Tundra. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2024 Toyota Tundra finished in magnetic gray metallic. In case you were curious of the exact exterior color name that we had on this one here today. But as always, let's go ahead and start with where the Tundra is made. Taking a look at the VIN, first character is the number five, indicating that the Tundra is built and assembled here in the US, specifically Texas, in case you were curious. But let's go ahead and start up front. All black front grille will come standard on the limited trim level. Satin chrome surrounds also coming standard as well. You got that Tundra lettering found on the bottom portion of the rear bumper. We actually get up a little bit closer so you guys can actually see that part. So that is there as well. LED headlights with LED daytime running lights do come standard, of course. You get the automatic feature as well, along with automatic high beams. So if you have your high beams on at night and it senses the vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. And when that vehicle is gone, it's going to automatically bounce it back up to high beams for you there. So very convenient feature there. And of course, to the bottom there, found kind of just below the front grille, you're going to find LED fog lights, which by the way, also comes standard on the Limited. So you got to love that. So. Anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of this one on this beautiful cold morning here in Western Maryland, gloss black A-pillar does come standard. Gonna find some chrome belt line molding. You got the chrome limited badging found on the rear doors there. That definitely looks good. Got the chrome tundra badging found on the front doors. So a lot of chrome accents there because got chrome door handles as well. Gray painted fender surrounds. That's one of the uh, unique features kind of of the limited trim level tundra specifically can't tell as much because we have a magnetic gray exterior but even if you were to go with a white exterior or a black there's still going to be gray fender surround so i did want to mention that as well taking a look at the side mirrors power adjustable side mirrors do come standard they will be body colored they will be heated auto dimming integrated turn signals power folding with the reverse gear tilt down feature so quite a bit going on with this side mirror specifically for the limited trim so i definitely like that then take a look down at the wheel setup 20 inch machine finished by color aluminum alloys do come standard that is what you guys are looking at and i think they definitely look good down there but that pretty much rounds out the side profile let's now go ahead and make our way to the back Right, so now since we are around to the back of this one body color tailgate spoiler does come standard chrome tailgate handle yet again with the chrome accents back there got the tundra lettering spelled out horizontally of course led tail lights do come standard that's definitely cool look to them as well led center high mount stop lamp as well you get some satin chrome accents found on that rear bumper down below there and uh we do have the tow hitch down there and of course the connector is right by the license plate there to the left but as far as max towing capacity for the limited at least that comes in at 11,400 pounds in case you were curious and just below it all you guys can see it there there is a single exhaust outlet tucked away underneath on the driver's side there so I did want to also mention there is a TRD exhaust available doesn't come standard but it's there for you if you want it but having said that I do believe you guys know what we have to do next here as always here is that exhaust clip <laughs> Something else since we are around to the back of the Tundra, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, there is a button on the key fob, there's a button on the tailgate itself, but my favorite way, there is a hidden button found in the rear driver's side tail light. So it's just a rubberized button essentially hidden within the tail light, so if you press that, it's gonna automatically open up for you as well. But anyways, once opened up, bed size comes in at five and a half foot bed or six and a half foot bed. You got two different configurations there. Top payload capacity comes in at 1,740 pounds, in case you were curious. There is a deck rail system with four adjustable tie down cleats. There's an aluminum reinforced composite bed. I love that because some of the full size trucks, some of the competition don't give you that reinforced composite bed. Some of them just give you the steel bed. So I don't know, I'm just saying. And there is some integrated cargo lighting available back there as well if you wanted it. But then make your way 
up to the rear legroom that comes in at 33.3 inches for the double cab 41.6 inches for the crew cab that is luxury like for sure it's a ton of space for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there and of course in typical truck fashion there are 60 40 flip up bench seats so if you needed to store some tools or really anything under there there's actually a good bit of storage underneath of those rear seats so i was a big fan of that rear ventilation does come standard on the crew max configuration so the one that we have today i wanted to emphasize that rear usb charging ports there's a usb a and a usb c back there for the rear passengers 12 volt power outlet is available and of course there is a rear center armrest with cup holders as well but then make your way up to the front seat soft text upholstery coming standard eight-way power adjustable front seats with two-way power lumbar as well and actually memory settings for up to two different drivers found just kind of by the driver's side left knee there but that was pretty cool heated and ventilated front seats also coming standard overall as far as seat comfort goes it was plenty adjustable the lumbar support was incredibly adjustable as well so in my short little test drive here i definitely did not have any issues with the seat comfort but now let's go ahead to take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is going to be leather wrap that comes standard on the limited and if you wanted a heated steering wheel that goes for 150 dollars if you wanted to go that route but now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here all of your buttons including the toyota logo are on the one side of the key got lock unlock and that button to pop the rear tailgate there but it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee and so once started up this is newly standard for the 2024 limited that is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster coming standard so before the analog gauges came standard but now you get the digital gauge cluster which is pretty stinking cool but you do get the time of day up there there's a digital speedometer there's your outside temperature as well you have trip a trip b of course and when actually you change the drive modes it is going to adjust the colors of the gauges up there as well so you're going to have a lot more red and gray here hues with the sport and then you got some blue hues if you were to go with the eco for example so that is pretty cool and it looks like we averaged 14.3 miles per gallon in our short little test drive here today but i'm sure the acceleration test didn't help that number at all but anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality panoramic roof goes for $1,350 we unfortunately don't have that one with us here today led interior lighting does come standard i love that overhead sunglass holder also coming standard auto dimming rear view mirror with home light controls for up to three different garage is coming standard love that dual zone climate control a leather wrap shift knob down there wireless phone charger is going to be available although it doesn't come standard on the limited unfortunately just beside the shifter you do have a ton of storage there you got a couple cup holders within the center armrest there is a massive amount of space in there you got a couple usb charging ports in there as well so overall there is a lot of space that can be found within the tundra i certainly wouldn't call it a luxury interior but it's definitely got a lot going on in here but now let's Let's go ahead and take a look at this absolutely massive infotainment screen. It is a 14 inch color touchscreen display. Bluetooth and audio streaming, of course, coming standard, but wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So a lot of other competition use the wired connectivity still, but with Toyota specifically lately, they've been all going wireless. So you gotta love that. No pesky wires up front. Can of course check out your driving statistics up there as well, along with your radio information. And so when it comes to the sound systems, nine speakers does come standard across the board. However, there is a 12 speaker JBL sound system that goes for only 560 dollars it's honestly not that much for an optional sound system usually the name brand sound systems run you a couple thousand dollars if not more so 565 bucks that's not that bad we do have that with us here today so what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one there's a lot of bass there quite honestly the the clarity was pretty good as well that was Sirius XM uh I don't know if that was old country or old rock I really can't tell the difference anymore but yeah that was uh that was an old school song but anyways last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen of course is when you do put the Tundra in reverse you'll find a rear view camera coming standard across the board and believe it or not it does take up the entire screen which is rare these days uh, also panoramic view monitor there to the right you gotta love that as well giving you that bird's eye view letting you know what is completely all around you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so here's one of the best selling points of the Tundra compared to the competition 
IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS. So that pretty much says it all right there, but you know who's not an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus? The F-150, the Silverado, the Ram 1500, they all cannot claim that, but the Tundra can. So this very well may be the safest full-size pickup truck available today, but front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors to tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, type pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 that gives you a pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, dynamic radar cruise control, lane departure alert with steering assist, lane tracing assist, road sign assist, the blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert and front and rear parking sensors with automatic braking as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here powerful twin turbo v6 0 to 60 and 5.7 it is nothing to be ashamed of that is dang good honestly and i do remember driving the v8 tundras before they were fun to drive as well but this twin turbo v6 it is definitely got a ton of power to it but safest full-size pickup available like i said that's definitely a big selling point for this one i love the tailgate release button in the rear taillight i think that's stinking cool as well absolutely massive infotainment screen i was a big fan of that and of course you have the toyota reliability reputation as well and like i said earlier a lot of people will question the t twin turbo v6 but it really comes down to the company making it and toyota is known for legendary reliability and part of the reason is because they put so much R&D into their engines before they ever put them out to the public. That's why you can look this up. They tested this engine for years years before they even put it in the Lexus LS or the Lexus GX or the Toyota Tundra. So I trust Toyota at this point personally, as I think most people do watching this video. That's why you're watching it. The reputation speaks for itself, of course. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the new Tundra in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see different spy shots of these vehicles before they actually get to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews because that is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Mm -hmm.